Well, hello, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your September the 10th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. What gift does it have for us? It is entitled Surrendering to a New Way of Life. Admitting our powerlessness is a surrender, an admission that we don't know the solution to our problems. That comes from our IP number 17 to those in treatment, recovery in Narcotics Anonymous. Admitting powerlessness over our addiction is often the first time we surrender to anything. Never mind the fact that we used to surrender to the drugs every day. Many of us had tried to clean up on our own without success. We couldn't control our using. So what makes us think we can control our recovery? We experience one of the greatest paradoxes in NA when we let go of our attempts to control the recovery process and find peace and freedom as a result. One member shared, surrender is like learning how to float in water. Instead of thrashing about, it's a process of letting go. We can surrender quietly to this new way of life and allow the experience of other addicts to guide our next steps. There is a sense of relief that accompanies surrender, a peace in powerlessness, giving up our illusions of self-control free us to become better versions of ourselves. And in NA, we don't have to walk this journey alone. We ask for help when we need it. Sometimes that's the hardest thing we do, but it gets easier with practice. We learn to surrender our old ideals, listen to suggestions, consult a higher power, and make up our minds about what course of action we need to take. We do the footwork, let go of the outcome, and move on. Confident that surrender will help us Accept whatever unfolds. I will practice admitting my powerlessness in any situation and free myself to see new solutions. I will surrender the things I can't control. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you, God. Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Surrendering is a new way of life. It's, it's, it's not normal for us, right, to surrender to anything. Oh, we surrendered to the drug, all right. We did that. It served a purpose. We had immediate side effects that served our purpose for whatever it was we were trying to deal with, numb out on, um, neglect, ignore, whatever it our need was. We put a drug in our body because we thought that that would help us cope with whatever was going on in a better frame of mind. That's why we say drugs are mind and mood altering. Oh, but today, when we talk about surrendering to a new way of life, one in which we don't have to fix, manage, and control anything, oh, we have to put forth effort. It does say what makes us think we can control our recovery. I have a better chance of having an impact on my recovery by applying all of these principles in my affairs, by not picking up the drug, there are some things that I can help improve when it comes to recovering from the use of drugs, making an effort, an honest effort to do something different. And there's going to be those areas where your character defects are going to come up. Step six tells us that. So much literature is written on that. 
we became entirely ready to have these defects of character removed from us. We humbly ask the God of our understanding to remove our shortcomings. That takes effort. But the results of it? Now that one, if you could control the results, why bother asking? So there are some areas that we need to take our surrender to a different level. So that when whatever is going to unfold, those things we have absolutely no control over. It doesn't take us by storm and knock us completely out of the circle of recovery. That's why I tell people, get as close to the center of this program as you possibly can. Do, do service work like your life depends on it. Make meetings like your life depends on it. Because you never know, just like with the pandemic, you never know when some of the options that we enjoy now will be taken away. And you will need whatever you have invested into your reserve tank of recovery. So let's do that today. Practice admitting our powerlessness in any situation and free yourself up for new solutions. Yeah. Surrender. All the things that you cannot control. It's made my life a lot bit, uh, a lot better. And I, I believe that it will make yours too. There's some things that, I mean, I stay awake many nights trying to make sure that the next day has a better outcome. And all it takes is one sick person in the house, one missed client, one client not showing up or a client showing up in a really challenging disposition, right? And it has the potential to change my perspective, my attitude. These are things I can't control, people, places, and things. But how much effort I put into my recovery, my reserve tank, I definitely can control that. And so can you. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose.